Hi guys, this is Brilliant Botany episode 5 and today I'm going to be talking about gravitropism in plants. Did you know that plants can sense gravity? They need to know which way is up so that their young stems can grow upwards and which way is down so that their roots can grow downwards. To understand how plants accomplish this feat of sensing gravity, first we need to know what a tropism is. Basically, a tropism is a change in a plant's growth in response to an environmental stimulus, in this case, gravity. And when a plant changes its growth in response to gravity, this is called gravitropism. If you take a plant like an Arabidopsis seedling, let it grow upwards for a little while and then turn it on its side so it's horizontal, the stem will begin to curve upwards so that it follows away from gravity. Most of the scientific research that's been done into gravitropism has been done using plant seedlings, so what I'm talking about has been found in plant seedlings. But how do plants sense gravity? Now scientists haven't figured everything out, but we do know that it involves starchy cells called statocytes and the plant hormone auxin. In the stem of a plant, there is a layer of cells called the starch sheath. And in this layer, there are cells called statocytes. Inside the statocytes, there are starch-containing plastids called statoliths. These statoliths are very dense and heavy, and they fall in the direction of gravity to the bottom of the cell. When you change the orientation of the plant, you change the orientation of the cell, and the statoliths move so that they're at the bottom of the cell again. Somehow, though we're not sure exactly how, the plant can tell which side of the cells the statoliths are sitting on, and therefore which direction gravity is pulling from. Okay, so the cell can tell which way is down, but how does it adjust its growth? This has to do with the hormone auxin that I mentioned earlier. In the stem of a plant, when there's a change in gravity, the amount of auxin in the lower half of the horizontal stem increases, and this prompts the plant to begin to curve upwards and grow so that it's once again in alignment with gravity. When it comes to roots, the process is very similar, but the statocytes are found in the root cap of the roots, which is the end of it and what is pushing through the dirt to get downwards. The statocytes here do the same thing, the statoliths move, indicating which direction gravity is in, while in the stem, higher auxin concentrations in the lower half of the horizontal horizontal stem stimulated growth, allowing it to curve upwards. In the root caps, lower auxin stimulates growth. This lower concentration of auxin allows the roots to curve downwards so that they're once again growing in orientation with gravity. Okay, so as you could probably tell, gravitropism is really complicated and I just gave you the basic concepts of how it works. Things to take away from this video, statocytes. Those are the starchy cells in the starch sheath and in the root caps of the plants that help them sense which direction gravity is. Number two, auxin. A very important plant hormone that does a lot of things, but in this case helps promote growth so that a plant stem or root can curve to get back in accordance with gravity. All right guys, hopefully you learned a little bit today about how plants can sense and adjust to gravity. It's important so that they can always grow upwards towards the sun to get more sun and to stay packed in with their neighbors so that they can try to beat them to get to the sun as well. If you like this video, press the thumbs up button and subscribe to keep up with future videos. If you want more botanical content, you can check out my website www.brilliantbotany.com where I post daily about different botanical concepts, gardening, agriculture, all kinds of plant things. Thanks for watching guys. Next week I will be talking about bryophytes aka mosses. Is it stimuli or stimulus? Okay, it's stimulus. All right.